good morning dear friends welcome to a lecture series on programming with python topics of unit 1 introduction to python programming how a program works using python program development cycle input processing and output displaying output with the print function comments variables reading input from the keyboard performing calculations operators type conversions expressions more about data output decision structures boolean logic simple if statement if else statement if elif else statements nested decision structures comparing strings logical operators boolean variables repetition structures introduction to looping statements while loop for loop calculating a running total input validation loops nested loops let's begin with the concept we all know that computer can understand only one language called machine language which is binary language ones and zeros but people like we users software developers everyone feel it very difficult to write or interact with the machine in the form of ones and zeros hence programming languages have been invented what is a program a program is collection of instructions that can be executed by a computer to perform a specific task example to add two numbers simple program to display some statement hello world is a program or to find roots of a quadratic equation find the matrix multiplication or to find a linear regression to detect an object like cctv footage everything is a program so what is actually software software is nothing but this collection of programs and the related libraries means uh, predefined functions which are been stored in header files or library files and the related data is called a software so basically programs are written in programming languages like basically we call c c++ java python vb etc where it come to software software is of two types system software application software so system software means op operating system application software means which is specific to the domain like uh, tally is a software there autocad is a software there adobe photoshop is a software there which are called application softwares see how machine understands user program we write a program in our general english in c language or c++ there is some syntactical format but we write in our understandable language so cpu understands only machine language so we write program in our language like c c++ python ruby now these programs will be converted into machine understandable format so that machine can understand what we had written as a program code by special programs called translators examples are assemblers compiler interpreter etc so what is compiler a compiler is a special program that processes statements written in a particular programming language and turns them into machine language there is one more translator called interpreter interpreter is also a special program that executes statement directly written in a particular programming language so in the, by the definitions we feel both are same 
so let us go with uh, what are the differences between them compiler and interpreter so let us start with the interpreter interpreter translates program one statement at a time only one statement at a time when it comes to compiler it scans entire program and translates it as a whole into machine code so first difference is that compiler compiles entire program at once where it comes to interpreter one line at a time the second statement interpreters usually takes less amount of time to analyze the source code however overall execution time is comparatively slower than compilers because interpreter checks line by line it checks first line if there are no mistakes it goes for the second line if there are no mistakes it goes for the third line and so on so if there is a mistake in first line it uh, throws that error user will solve that error and again it user goes for interpretation then the, if there is a mistake in second line second line error will be shown so and so on it will continue till the last line where it comes to compiler compiler takes entire program at a time and it will throws all the errors if there exist at once so that user can check all the errors and uh, in single shot all errors will be rectified and uh, the program will be recompiled again so there are no errors in terms of interpreter there is no intermediate code generated because it checks only a small statement one line of statement when it comes to compiler it generates intermediate object code which further requires linking after compilation we call uh, linking okay so it requires some sort of more memory than interpreter so compiler needs more memory but compilers are faster than interpreters so what are the programming languages uses compiler and what are the programming languages uses interpreter so python ruby javascript uses interpreters where it comes to compiler c c++ programming java uses compilers what is a, a program we understood what is been compiler what is been by interpreter we had a been understood how a program works programs are usually written by us and we will store the programs into the secondary storage devices like computer hard disk drives called c drive d drive e drive f drive so on or else sometimes programs will be loaded from the cd rom so whatever program written by us is stored in secondary storage device when we want to execute it the program will be loaded from the secondary storage to primary storage called ram or main memory once it is been loaded into the main memory it will be compiled and then it will be executed by the main memory itself so to do this uh, there is a cycle called fetch decode execute cycle is there so what is this cycle let us understand step by step so this cycle consists of three steps first step is called fetch second step is called decode third step is called execute so a program is long sequence of machine language instructions so each and every program which is loaded into the main memory so whatever the instruction has to be executed by the machine that has to be read by the cpu that is called fetching the instructions once it is been read by the cpu it has to be converted into the machine language a machine language instruction is a binary number that represents a command that tells the cpu to perform an operation in the first step whatever the program we had written that is loaded into cpu 
second step it has been coded so it has been converted into machine understandable language in the third step once it has been loaded into the main memory and converted then it goes for the execution so this will happen for each and every instruction of the program till end of the program so in the next video we are going to see how to install python